Imagine being on the edge, heart thumping, the roar of engines ringing in your ears as two titans clash on the asphalt battlegrounds of Formula One. Welcome race enthusiasts to a tale of speed, strategy and rivalry. In the left corner, the seasoned legend Lewis Hamilton. And in the right corner, the fearless rising star Max Verstappen, both locked in an epic duel that's setting the world on fire. But do you know the untold story behind one of their most electrifying face-offs? Today, we unveil the intricate layers and pulsating moments of the 2021 Spanish Grand Prix, where every second was a battle, every move a statement, and the finish absolutely unforgettable. But wait, stay glued as we unmask a massive surprise lying in the shadows of this grand rivalry. A revelation that will leave your jaws on the floor. You won't see it coming. As the anticipation is building, gear up and hit the like button with full throttle. And fasten your subscriptions because together we're about to blast through the uncharted tracks of this exhilarating tale. Hold tight as we green light into the whirlwind world of Hamilton vs. Verstappen at the 2021 Spanish Grand Prix. Are you ready to feel the G-force of their showdown? Let's race into the saga right now. Now, before we even get into this one, it's essential to understand the two protagonists and the teams behind them. For nearly a decade, Mercedes and Red Bull had been at the forefront of Formula One. Toto Wolff and Christian Horner had stirred the teams to a level where they stood. I mean, Ferrari, they were good, but they didn't match with the incredible power of Red Bull and Mercedes. And, considering that they were the only two teams at the plateau of the sport, the rivalry was pretty thick here. So, who were the two men who were spearheading this whole rivalry? As you can imagine, it was Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. Lewis is a legend at this point. In his career, he's been able to break almost every record Formula One has. He's joint tied with Michael Schumacher for the most world championship wins, stands alone with the most pole positions, and has the most Grand Prix wins, by a mile, by the way. For Red Bull, you have Max Verstappen. Mad Max is already building his profile, and it's easy to see how. At this point, he was a young upstart making a name for himself in Formula One. And while he hadn't become the formidable driver he is today, there were definitely signs there. Lewis was the OG at the peak of his powers, a man many were starting to see if he could enter the twilight of his career. But when push came to shove, he was still that guy. As for Max, he was the up-and-comer who was really hitting his stride and was undoubtedly the next face of Formula One. So, like every classic tale, you can imagine how easy it would have been for the two men to develop beef. So, now we understand the men at the forefront of this whole thing. Now, let's talk about the record. You see, before even the Spanish Grand Prix started, there had been a lot of rumblings between the Red Bull and the Mercedes teams, as well as between Hamilton and Verstappen. Verstappen had built a reputation for being too aggressive while driving. On several occasions, Max would get into trouble with the other drivers for not willingly giving them enough space to overtake or going close to them when it was his point to overtake. You can understand Max here. At the end of the day, the rules surrounding these things are pretty lax. And if you're a driver looking to capitalise on the weakness of others, you have to be aggressive enough and willing to make those dangerous moves that others might not deem safe. Plus, it also helps when you have a red bull behind you. Whatever anyone might say about them, these guys are one of the most powerful teams on the grid. The aggressive approach had helped Max Verstappen to move quickly among the ranks of Formula One. I mean, there's a reason why the guy was nicknamed Mad Max. He was a bully on the track and wouldn't hesitate to take some big risks and move incredibly close to other rivals. At the end of the day, the moment they backed down, it was all upside for Max. And in most of the cases, he actually got his way. His opponents would back down, allowing him to take the lead. Considering that the rules surrounding how drivers allocate space in Formula 1 are pretty vague, you can understand why Verstappen was so successful with his aggressive driving style. Everyone hated that he always risked safety for a lead, but no one could necessarily deny that the strategy had worked for him and that he was also one of the best drivers in the sport. 
As for Hamilton, I wouldn't necessarily say he had been a saint too. If you're looking to win in Formula 1, you must be willing and ready to make some rash decisions. Lewis had been blamed for several moves he had made in his career, but in general, he wasn't necessarily seen as the type of guy who would drive too rough or aggressively. Instead, his success had been down to two main things, his impeccable driving and the ingenuity of the Mercedes team. This meant we basically had two guys, one with an aggressive and no-nonsense driving style and the other with a general easy-going style that only got aggressive when he had to. The two men were pretty different overall and they belonged to teams that were insane rivals to each other. Going into the Spanish Grand Prix, everyone expected Lewis and Max to be the guys to beat. During qualifying for the race, Hamilton had achieved a record 100th pole position. Plus, he was the reigning world champion, so everything was set for him to win the race. At the same time, there were bad omens for him. For one, no one driver had been able to win from pole position that year up to that point. And with Max behind him and hungrier than ever for some much needed wins, Lewis had to be at the top of his game. As for Verstappen, it was clear he was looking to assert dominance in what had already been a thoroughly contested battle for the Drivers' World Championship. Plus, Mad Max was also in his 100th Formula 1 race, and as you'd expect, he was looking to stamp this with a big win. The two men had already been involved in a few scuffles ahead of the race. For instance, at Imola, Verstappen started the race with a bit of an aggressive move as he sped past Hamilton to move into pole position as soon as the contest began. And at Monza, we had the reverse. Hamilton was on the inside line at a point in the race and Verstappen was on the outside trying to overtake him. Instead of leaving space for the British driver to move, Verstappen's aggression came into play and he did this. So, when the race at Barcelona was set to start, it was all up in the air. Would Hamilton, who again was on pole, be able to pull off a smooth run? Would Verstappen be willing to let his rival start the race ahead? I think we know what is going to happen. Just like that, Verstappen was able to take the lead as the race began, even though he literally had to risk the entire race and the safety of himself and his rival. Verstappen's action to take the lead in that race was unconventional, and to make things worse, he reportedly yelled at Hamilton to reprimand him, even though he was the one who actually seemed to be in the wrong. Nevertheless, the deed was done, and instead of sulking about what happened, Hamilton took it in his stride and continued the race. Hamilton had an interesting strategy. At an early point in the game, he actually pitted to change his tyres. That's a super stop from Mercedes. Lots of fist bumping here from the mechanics. Because of this pit stop and the fresh tyres, he could use this going forward for additional speed and grip. With his commitment to the two-stop strategy, the fresher and the quicker tyres, he was eventually able to move ahead of Verstappen. I'm racing with Lewis behind me, trying to keep up with him, with his pace. And I'm my tires, so what do you want me to do? Eventually, Hamilton was able to catch up to Verstappen and move past him. The winner of the Spanish Grand Prix for Lewis Hamilton, who strengthens his grip then at the top of the table. The two-stop strategy ended up paying off for Hamilton and he went on to take the win. Despite the insane start, Verstappen wasn't able to keep up and Hamilton was able to extend his lead in the championship and take the most race wins in Formula 1 history. As the dust settles on the track, the echoes of roaring engines fade into the whispers of the wind. We've journeyed through the turns and twists of the 2021 Spanish Grand Prix, the witnessed the strategic brilliance and felt the pulse pounding adrenaline of every overtake. And here we are, at the finish line, where the untold story and the massive surprise unravel. Despite the heated rivalry and unexpected manoeuvres, it's the undying spirit of sportsmanship that stands tall. In the grand tapestry of Formula One, Hamilton and Verstappen are not just rivals. They are the artists painting each race with the strokes of speed, courage and innovation, contributing to the spectacular masterpiece of motorsport. This epic saga at the Spanish Grand Prix illuminates not just a race, but a riveting chapter in the timeless annals of Formula One. As we close this thrilling adventure, remember, the rubber will burn again, engines will roar and legends will rise. But the question lingers, 
What lies ahead in the chronicles of Hamilton and Verstappen? Will the coming duels echo the fervour of the Spanish Grand Prix? Or will they etch a new narrative in the annals of racing? Fuel your passion and stay ahead of the curve by hitting the notification bell, ensuring you don't miss a single moment of this electrifying journey. Until the next lap, keep the spirit of racing alive. And remember, in the world of Formula One, expect the unexpected. Until the next one, racing fans, this has been F1 Racing Now, your inside track to all things F1.